Harry Styles could never. <laughs> Harry Styles and Shawn Mendes were both name dropped by Olivia Rodrigo in the first episode of season two of High School Musical, the musical, the series, and fans can't seem to contain their excitement. Let's break it down. Olivia Rodrigo has a lot to celebrate as she just dropped the third single from her upcoming debut album, Sour, on Friday and graced the SNL stage over the weekend for the first time to perform her smash hit songs. This all happened on the same weekend that she stepped back into her TV role as Nini on season two of Disney Plus's High School Musical, the musical, the series, which debuted on the exact same day. Coincidence or not, fans couldn't help but point out one major reference made about not one, but two highly renowned artists while tuning into the first episode, when Olivia's character Nini name dropped Harry Styles, causing the perfect collision of two dedicated fandoms. And just FYI, for those of you who haven't yet tuned into the episode, what I'm about to say does contain a small spoiler, so please only continue watching if you're okay with knowing what goes down. With that said, the scene from the episode titled New Year's Eve starts out with Ricky, played by Joshua Bassett, confessing that he will never break up with Nini again, saying, quote, you know, good relationships are all about good communication. But Nini couldn't exactly find the right time to break the news to him that she was moving to Denver in two weeks after getting into the Youth Actors Conservatory. The two spend Christmas together as Nini is torn between going and staying to be with Ricky when he serenades her with a new song called The Perfect Gift as his gift to her. But it was the Harry Styles reference that was the real gift to fans. Ricky, that was incredible. <laughs> Harry Styles could never... <laughs> I'm screaming. The two had a sweet moment together as Ricky expressed to Nini just how important she is in his life while he was also grappling with the divorce of his parents, making it that much harder for her to deliver the news. He said, quote, This, us, it's like the one thing I can always count on. You're my home. And as mentioned earlier, Shawn Mendes was also referenced in the episode when Ricky was told that he looks and sings just like the star when hoping to audition for a new role. Check it out. You, you look like Shawn Mendes and you sing like Shawn Mendes. Quite a compliment, I've got to say. And he's not wrong. Meanwhile, fans couldn't contain their excitement over the two references taking to social media to share how pleasantly surprised they were to hear the familiar names in the show. One fan tweeted, I'm literally living for the Sean and Harry references. While another person said, Nini mentioning Harry Styles to Ricky is something I can't handle right now. The Harry reference especially caused fans to lose all chill as it came just days after Joshua called him cool, hot and charming in an exclusive interview with yours truly, aka Clever News. He even questioned his own comments about Harry, asking, I guess this is my, um, this is also my coming out video, I guess. Uh... This quick comment prompted many to believe that Joshua may have in fact just come out. Although he has yet to specifically comment on his sexual preference, Joshua followed up the viral comment with an Instagram post, thanking fans for standing for love and acceptance and saying, quote, Love who you love shamelessly. It's okay to still be figuring out who you are. Life's too short to let ignorance and hatred win. I choose love. Naturally, fans were living for the reference for this reason alone, with one user saying, Me watching Nini say Harry Styles could never to Ricky after Joshua Bassett just came out because of Harry Styles. The love has definitely come full circle. So while we wait for an epic Harry Styles and Joshua Bassett collaboration to result from this, we'll just be streaming the rest of High School Musical, the musical, the series, season two, to see what continues to transpire with the remainder of Ricky and Nini's love saga. And for more on Olivia and what she had to say about quitting music in the future, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know your thoughts on the references to both Harry and Sean in the comment section below. I am totally living for it. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on TikTok at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.